So welcome ladies and gentlemen, we're back today with our Master League playthrough. If you haven't seen the first couple of episodes where we've played, I don't know, about 15 or so matches, do check them out. Um, and I did stream them, so this is the first video that I'm not putting out as a stream. Um, I know some of you don't have the time to sit down and watch an hour or two, so I'm going to condense today's uh, video, hopefully two matches, as we take on Huddersfield Town. Uh, then we have a bit of a break before going in against Wolves um, in match day 11. So it hasn't been the best, has it? I mean, if you've been watching me live, you would have seen that. It's been real tough, but it's been fun. You know, you lose some, you win the odd game as it's been going. But we'll hopefully turn that around. So today, we're going to be sticking to this traditional formation, which for me just seems to be working. You know, we're creating more chances playing sort of a 3-5-2. Um... Uh, but we've got a lot of players down, unfortunately. Torreira's not able to play. I mean, he could play, but he's not going to do much. Bellerin's down. Welbeck's down. Uh, Mkhitaryan's all the way down there as well. So I think this is probably the best lineup we're going to get. And um, just, just test it out, see what happens. I'm playing now compactness with two bars, and that means that if they do go for that long cross, I should be able to sort of counteract that a little bit better. Uh, we are going to do a bit of man marking. Uh, let's do a man marking on the forward man. That should be enough. So, yeah, here we go. I'm still using the mods. You're going to see the turf looks phenomenal. We've got the Premier League boards in there as well. So everything's shaping up nicely. It looks pretty authentic. But I hope you guys do enjoy it. Hit the like button, of course. Subscribe for more as we dive into this match day number 10. So back at the Emirates. It's Arsenal. It's Huddersfield Town. Uh, no doubt Luigi's side have I've got to bounce back. I mean, it hasn't been good enough this season. The performances have been up and down like Tower Bridge, and they've just got to start playing. Simple as that. Consistency is the key. And they need a good run of games to get themselves back on track. Go. So away we go. Live. Ready for some more action. Arsenal. At home in their traditional red, white, and white socks. Huddersfield of town attacking from right to left in their blue and white, of course. But there's been a lot of changes to this Arsenal side, and it'll be interesting to see just exactly how they play as Monreal picks it up on the flank and decides to swing it back round to Mustafi, El Nene. First start for him this season as the defensive midfielder. Ramsey out to Lischsteiner. He's played a few games so far, Lischsteiner. Gets it back again. It's again, Huddersfield, they're not taking their time, are they? They're here to play, they're here to win. If Arsenal are going to cause problems, they're going to have to start pinging this around. Deflection, Pritchett. Poke forward. Comes back, there's the strike. And uh, Petacek with the first save of the game. 25 minutes gone. And it is the away side. Lacazette. Oh, that's nicely done. Ramsey this time. And suddenly the game comes alive. That's a quick break from Arsenal. They weren't hanging about. I mean, this fed into the path of Ramsey. He came off his back heel and the goalie did well. Kachunga. He's gone away on his bike. Monreal getting back quick. Lovely ball forward. And there's another strike from distance. And Huddersfield showing they're not going to wait in today's game. If they see a chance on goal, they're going to go for it. I think it's Pritchard now for the second time. And this one was, well, well wide. El Nene. Ozil. El Nene. Nicely worked, but straight at the keeper. Good play by the defensive midfielder, though. He's not going to get too many chances this season, so he has to do what he can when he wants to shine. Here is Lacazette. That's another great save for Arsenal putting on the pressure now. Pritchard 
Tasty looking pass delivered in towards that near post. And where on earth was Arsenal's market? And Money or Money has hit the money marker. Drilled in. I mean, I don't know who's marking him, but uh, it's completely just didn't stay with him because he was too quick. Took one touch and finished it in the bottom corner. So not great news at all for Arsenal. A goal down for not the first time this season. We've seen that a few times. And now they're going to have to try and get themselves back in this game. Good challenge again. The question is, will Huddersfield start tiring towards the end of this game? Arsenal did have a flourish though, didn't they? There was a couple of chances for them there where they could have scored. They didn't. Oh, wait a minute. It's going to be Aubameyang and he just couldn't place it into that bottom corner. Good bit of goalkeeping and he's played well so far, the keeper. But this is nice. Quick give and go. And he just gets it sort of stuck under his foot and couldn't put enough power on it. So Arsenal have made a change. Bellerin on, Monreal off. And they have 45 minutes to turn this game around. Another defeat and things just start getting really worrying for them. That's for sure. Here's El Nene. He's fed it out wide, but it's not a great pass at all. Hader back to Smith. Arsenal have got a pressure. Got to pressure now. And then he's just daydreaming there. Well played Mustafi. Ozil. Nice reverse pass. Ramsey into the feet of Bellerin. He's cut back in. He's still going. Bellerin! He's just come on. What about that for a substitution? Cuts inside. Left footed. And it's 1-1. That's a great ball here by Ramsey. The way he took this in his stride. It was a little fake to get the yard, the space, and the ability to finish. Well, no one's marking Lacazette. It's coming towards Uber Yang. He's got... He did get ahead on that as well. Well, that's a silly place to lose it. Uber Yang was... I don't know. Wasn't paying attention. Pritchett. It's a tasty ball. And Benza. And he's just come on. Mustafi's uh, backing away from him. Williams, referee plays the advantage. Money. Oh, play Mustafi. Ozil, once again, lost it. Pressure this by Huddersfield. Got to get it in the box now. And it is delivered in towards that near post. That'd be comfortable for Czech. And here's a chance for Arsenal to move really quickly. The counter-attack is on. Lacazette. He has been quiet in today's game. Oh, Aubameyang! Talk about a counter and a half. There it is. And that's all stemmed from this man. It was a quick throw, laid forward. Ramsey to Lacazette. Drills it in near post. And Huddersfield just got caught. And Arsenal have made the change. Welbeck on, Lacazette off. Delivered in towards the near post. Good header away. Will Bellerin win it the second time? Yes, he will. And Ubermeyang is away. Towards Danny Welbeck. Fresh legs. Might as well let him have it. Looking for Bellerin. Well played, Bellerin. Ramsey, Bellerin. Well, he's looking for another one. Well, he's certainly not afraid to come forward, is he? There will be a bit of a rest after this game, so players will be able to rest up a little bit. Difficult when you're playing two games a week, especially with Arsenal being in the Europa League. 
We're going to yank towards Danny Welbeck. The referee plays the advantage. And Danny Welbeck still going. Well, that's a little bit of a shaky ball. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Huddersfield Town crumbling. And Uber Biang are picking up his second of the night. I mean, Danny Welbeck, fair play, did really well here. And then this pass, he try, I don't know who he's playing that to, the defender or the keeper, who knows? Still going, looking for the long ball. One minute of stoppage time to play. I think the man of the match definitely will be Mr. Aubameyang. With the performance he's had in this second half. Two goals. Simple goals, but goals nonetheless. And there it is, Arsenal 3. Huddersfield Town 1, turning it around in the second half. Great performance by that man there in the final 45 minutes. And there it is, 10 shots to 4. 51 to 49% possession. Man of the match, yes, was Zubin Yang. So the other results, Liverpool winning, Man City winning against Bournemouth, United lost against Brighton at home, Newcastle beat Burnley, Southampton beat Cardiff, Chelsea losing to Tottenham, Watford drew, West Ham draw to Everton and Wolves drawing to Fulham. So that puts us at 15th place still, it's uh, way off the pace but if we can start winning some games and when we are 8 points behind 3rd so there's certainly a chance there. Just need a little bit of momentum. Omriel's decreasing. That's uh, no surprise. But anyway, up next, we are taking on Wolverhampton Wanderers. Uh, Petr Cech has uh, increased to a level three of leader. And Socrates just picked up an injury. So he's probably going to be out for most of this month. I have seen quite a few injuries, which is nice so far in this Master League. Okay, so obviously Wolves are up next. Uh, I don't exactly know where they are in the table. Let's have a look. We've got a schedule we can find out. They are lying in seventh place. So four wins, four draws, two defeats. Not being the worst performance by them. But uh, yeah, we're going to have to perform again and not wait to the second half this time. Made a couple of tweaks to the tactics. But uh, there's the lineup for you. We're going to start today with bringing in Mkhitaryan. I'm going to start El Nene again. I mean, I thought he had a good game. Uh, credit to him, and he's up for it as well, as opposed to Torreira still down. Uh, Hector Bellerin put him in the lineup. Uh, obviously, Sokratic is down, so um, Kolasinic will come in. So he's got a bit of pace as well about him, actually, because he's, yeah, speed's pretty good. And then the traditional two up top. So 92 team spirit is pretty decent. Um, I don't know if I should man mark or just leave it. I'm going to leave it for now and just see how it goes without it. We are back at home. We seem to play a lot of home games right now, but here we go. Arsenal Wolves. Let's try and get those three points again. So match day number 11. Arsenal coming off the back of a, a decent second half display. I mean, the first half against Huddersfield, they had chances. But the second half, they managed to really put them away. And today, the manager, Luigi, will be asking for more of the same. A couple of changes in the lineup, but for the most part, a similar size, similar formation. Can they do it again? There's Bellerin. There's it, Ozil. Got to be quicker. Lassenach. And he's given it away, and he's also out of position now. Well, that's too much. Well, Luigi's up and down on the sideline here, barking out instructions to the boys. Because right now, they're looking like a bunch of lost sheep. Ubermiyang. There's a good turn by Ubermiyang. And there is the first chance, finally. I mean, that's it. Test the goalie. Lichsteiner. Here goes Bellerin. Ozil. Too much by him. Ramsey. And he goes down. And that will be a foul and surely a yellow. It was late. And that will perfectly match his shirt. For Matinho. The first challenge was fine. But the second one. 
Ramsey just a little bit too quick for him and this is Ozil territory where it's going to be Mesut Ozil he's hit the post well he's had plenty of those this season that were just close but not close enough and now Bellerin can deliver this one in oh it's a good looking pass I don't know what happened in the middle there it was Ooh, and Miang, he was, I don't know, he was daydreaming. What has happened? The Wolves just, just seem to have it down defensively today. It's one of those games that's been rarely a chance. Ramsey. And the referee's going to give the foul again. Another chance for Mazid Ozil. This time a little bit closer. Probably more his type of range. I mean, I don't know how much this was a foul. He went sliding in. I mean, he caught him with both legs. It's going to be Mosid Ozil, and it was just bending towards Rui Patricio. Had to be a, a little bit further out for him, and just a little bit too much curve on it. It's the closest they've come. Arsenal twice is pretty much from free kicks. It sums this match up. No chances at all for Wolves. Mkhitaryan. Given that away carelessly. Wait a minute, here is a chance for Wolves. Penacek to the rescue, and they are going to take the lead on their first chance of the game. Absolutely unbelievable. I mean, it was the clearance that just completely bluffed and ruined that one. Terrible ball. Right here, gave it away. Now they're out of position. The run from behind, Czech's initial save, got up quickly, but then he just couldn't redirect and get down quick enough. So with half an hour to play, I mean, what do we say moments ago? Wolves have barely had a chance, and they hadn't had a chance. First real chance they get, and they put it in the back of the net. And Arsenal can only blame themselves. And now Arsenal are going for a 4-3-3. And Lacazette, what are you doing? He's in another world or another dimension at the moment. Half asleep. Are they going for a 4-3-3? They've changed it. Luigi's had enough. Uber Miang will be playing as the front wide man. Well, this could totally wake Wolves up now, to be honest. And here we go again. Jimenez. Didn't want to hit it. Shaka. Ramsey. A lot of space here for Bellerin. Arsenal going to have to do it again. Come from behind this time. They've got less time to do it. Bellerin. Looking for something. He's got absolutely no one moving off the ball. Jimenez. Good idea. Shaka. He may not even get there, you know. And he hasn't got there, and Petacek with a brilliant stop. Man, oh man, are Arsenal looking tired. Could have been 2 0, probably job done then. Oh, that's a terrible place to lose it again. Arsenal all over the place. Absolute woeful right now. And this could be number two. It is number two. I don't know what's happened to him. They have completely lost the plot. Literally, they are, look at this passing, horrendous. And at the back, slower than a turtle. It's a good finish. Just poor defensively. I mean, two passes you're in. And why is the defender behind the forward? Well, Arsenal will make two changes. Uh, Maitland-Niles is coming on, and Torreira. But today has not been their day. And to be honest with you, it wasn't even Wolves' day until about 20 minutes ago. And then they just came alive. And Arsenal have just gone sluggish and slow and monotonous and boring. And Lacazette can't do anything. And that has gone in as well. We have got a game on our hands now. Shaka scores. Quickly get that ball and get going. Talk about Wolves switching off. They certainly did. And it's another player that comes on, second half, and scores. Torreira to Shaka laid on. And Lacazette, to be fair, it's actually a great ball. Just with the outside of the boot, and this actually comes off the goalie's arm. Saves it initially, and then it comes off his backside. 
And that is unlucky. Comes off his arse and rolls in. House. Anything Wolves now don't want to do is start playing around with it at the back. Just if in doubt, get it away. Just like that. And make sure you get it to uh, an orange shirt. They haven't. Lacazette. Uber Miyang. Well, here's a chance. He can deliver this one in. Oh, it's Ramsey. Oh, what a chance. I mean, he had a free header, but I think this is just behind him. And because of that, he had to just drop off a little bit deeper, try and redirect it, and he just couldn't do so. One thing Arsenal are looking tired at the back. Maybe missing the likes of Mustafi, but out with an injury. There's the strike deflected. Shaka. And Ubermiyang wants it. Ubermiyang picks it up. And can he finish it? Oh, not quite. Still got the pace. This is what you need to do. Give it to him out wide. Let him run at players in the middle. He struck it well enough, but the keeper saw it all the way. How's the delivery? Shaka delivers it in. Players couldn't get there. Maitland-Niles will pick this up. Lays it back inside. Ramsey, oh, just play it or do something with it, but don't lose it there. Final seconds here. Mkhitaryan. Oh, he wanted to give and go and then just try and whip it in, but that is going to be all she wrote. And the woefulness continues. I mean, they win a game, they bounce back, and then they go and lose a match. There's no consistency in this Arsenal team right now. And I think Luigi got the tactics wrong today. And that is the problem that he's going to have to try and sort out. Because they had some chances in the second half, but it wasn't enough. They hit the bar, of course, of the free kick. Man of the match today is Jimenez up top. So elsewhere, uh, Liverpool beat Brighton, Leicester 1. City beat Burnley. United bounced back with a win. Chelsea beat Newcastle. Southampton beat Crystal Palace. Tottenham drew. Watford lost to Fulham. And Huddersfield beating West Ham. So we drop now down to 16th. It's just, it's just horrendous, isn't it? I can't get any kind of momentum going at all. Man City are running away with it already. Seven points clear ahead of Tottenham. Wolves are third now. And uh, yeah, Cardiff Burnley bottom. And we've already lost six games. Six games. I think my problem there was I probably should have changed my tactics looking at Wolves formation. I'm not doing that enough. I'm not looking at my opposition and trying to figure out what the best tactics or formation would be to beat that. I'm playing every game the same. And as you can see, it's not working out very well. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is all for today's episode. Uh, next we're going to have uh, career mode. I'm going to be starting a Real Madrid FIFA career mode just to start with. Um, you know, I haven't played FIFA in such a long time. I want to do it with a team that I generally think I'll have a bit of fun with and enjoy myself. So I'll probably have that out tomorrow and we'll get that rolling. So we'll be tossing and turning between the two. Uh, a bit of Pez, a bit of FIFA. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't slag me off too much. And until next time, subscribe for more and take care. Just got to make sure I save it. Peace.